Hi folks, so I wanted to demonstrate a small tool that I wrote the other day uh, that is um, that has the idea to basically provide audit tracking for uh, any shell command uh, with very little changes in how you write those shell commands. So let's dive right in. I have a terminal open here and I have also provided some commands here that we can use um, to, to try out things. I'll just clean up my folder here. I have some scripts there um, which are not, uh, yeah, uh, which we will not directly use. I will copy from them. Uh, so I want to first demonstrate uh, the basic commands without the syntax of my tool. Uh, and the idea is uh, first to, to write, just uh, echo out a small DNA strand or DNA sequence into a file called dna.fa for FASTA. Uh, so if we look at this file, it just contains this sequence after we have written it. And then as an example here, we do a translation of uh, uh, so that we, we replace uh, all of the DNA letters with their complement. You know, the, DNA letters are bound two and two, and A are, is bound to T, and C is bound to G, etc. So with this translate command here, uh, with two sequences, we translate A to T, C to G, G to C, T to A, etc. So we do that uh, with the original file there and save it into a new file name, uh, dna.compl.fa. So if we cat DNA, fa and dna.compl we see that uh, all the ta's are replaced by t etc etc so it's complemented and then finally uh, we can take that file and reverse it using the rev command so we just output the, that uh, complemented file and pipe it to reverse and then write that out to dna.compl.rev FA. I'm using a bit of abbreviated file names there to keep it short. Uh, so now we have three files there. Uh, and uh, later we will try to do it uh, the opposite as well. But right now, just uh, let us just uh, uh, l let's instead show how we would do this process <coughs> if we would be using the syntax uh, of this tool called Psy Commander right now. Um, so I will do it manually just in order to to make it more clear what I'm doing. Uh, sorry, now I managed to run the command. So what you will what you would do then is you uh, take this command Psy Command, then use the C flag to. Uh, Execute, I think. Let me double check. Um, so I come on. Uh, yes, it's the C flag. Uh, let me remove again this uh, and echo. So we, we use Psy command and the C flag, and then we have the actual command. So the only other thing we need to do, or there are two things. One is that we need to uh, quote any like redirection, check characters, etc., because they w otherwise they will kind of they will be caught by bash immediately. But instead, they should be sent to this site commander command, and then uh, we designate or we we mark all output sequences with O colon, and we will do the same with input sequences. But here we have only one output sequence. So we do this uh, and we notice immediately that we get a little bit more output when we write, when we execute it. What we also get is that uh, apart from this output file, which still is the same uh, sequence, we now get um, a JSON file uh, containing uh, a little bit of metadata about the command. Uh, the command that was executed, the inputs and the outputs, and we see the DNA string there. And also we see some timing information of when, when there was, uh, when this was executed, how long it took, etc. Um, 
So uh, let's uh, continue with the next command that we did, the complement. Uh, and here, uh, since, uh, yeah, C, side command C. And here we have one input uh, here because we're using this dna.fa file as an input. So we do I colon, and then we need to quote the pipe characters. This is uh, uh, just uh, operating on, on the input. And then we have this output file here. So we add O colon. So we get, uh, we get um, some output there as well. Uh, and again, now also for this output file, we have an accompanying audit file there as well, uh, which looks uh, quite similar to the previous one. But now we have both an input and an output. Um, right, and then uh, we can do the final, final command here. Um, uh, sorry, uh, I should be in the right in the right uh, terminal there. So, uh, sci command c cat, and then this file will be the input. We quote the pipe characters, this one as well, and then add o colon like that. So now we have uh, we have three. Uh, as before, we have three uh, data files, but we also have three audit files. Uh, so what we can do now, but I, I want to make this a little bit more uh, advanced uh, uh, to, to just to make it make it nicer to look at. Um, I will try to do also a reverse. Let me see, I want to do the uh, reverse first. So I want to operate on, on, on the original file and do the reverse like this. And then I want to do the complement on that one. So let me see here, do the complement there. And I want to do that on the, that on the file that is only reversed. Uh, so we do it like that. So now we have uh, more files. We have one that is complemented and then reversed, and one that is reversed and then complemented. Um, and then finally, uh, we could do something nice. We could take those last files and just uh, just concatenate them. But uh, then I, I want to do that, of course, through the sci command. Um, then we do input, so we will have two inputs. And then we do a quoted redirection into a merged FASTA, like that. Right, so now we have like a one final file uh, that has run through two various uh, kind of two branches of uh, analysis. So the reason I, I want to do this. I'm just looking at it here. And the reason I want to do this is now that we have those audit files, then now there's some things we can do with this sci command. Um, we can convert any audit file to HTML. Um, and uh, so let's let's do that for this final one. So we do sci command. HTML and now this will open in a browser and I realize I need to switch the screen sharing here for a second um, let me do that here we have the audit report for for this uh, analysis and and as you see uh, I wanted to do these two branches so that we make it a little bit more interesting than rather than having just a, a single sequence of commands. So what you see is you see all of the commands that were used to produce this final merged FASTA file. Um, you, can, you see them in, in order by time of execution, but you also see the kind of the whole graph. So you see both the commands here, which are the long ones, and the intermediate files that were 
used to produce produce that file. So this, uh, of course, now this is a very rudimentary report, but it could be made, of course, much fancier um, based on based on uh, whatever metadata you capture when when the command is is run, etc. So there's a lot more that could be could be done here. But this is a a small start. So um, I wanted to share this in order to see what people think if they would find uh, find this useful at all and if you have any ideas on how you would want to use it and uh, etc so i'm very much looking for feedback and ideas etc so reach out to me uh, either on as comments on this video or or um, <clears throat> you could also reach me on for example on twitter uh, sml lmp uh, for example uh, uh, should be the easiest way right now. So looking forward to hear from you.